reasons, excuses, down to conditions and whatever, well, all consigned to history. And a big news, really, Tom James having taken a year out after the Olympics, the Olympic champion, sidelined last year for injury, is back in the heart of the team and the heart of the men's heavyweight Coxless Four. These are the fastest qualifiers, Greece. They were three seconds faster in their semi-final, and they've changed their stern pair. They pulled them in from the pair that came third last year, and they've put them in the stern here, and the stern pair from last year's four have gone into the pair. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. <laughs> Height of the competition just shows you France in lane number six scraping into this final. They're the world champions from 2010 Lake Carapiro. So there's the lane order, Great Britain in the middle. Watch out for Greece in lane number four, but you cannot discount the world champions in lane number six. Greece, two bow pair with silver medalists in this event. So the peace and calm down at the start, soon to be shattered by the noise and the sprinting out of six boats. Italy in one, Belarus in two, Great Britain three, Greece in four, Germany in five, the world champions France in lane number six. Italy. Greece are the fastest qualifiers out of the two semi-finals. Watch them in the early Greece. 100. Germany, France, attention. So the next chapter starts in the story of the men's heavyweight Coxless for Great Britain in lane number five, and they are away. They're being pushed hard by France in lane number six. Italy in one, Belarus in two. Great Britain so disappointed with their fourth place at the World Championships last year in Lake Carapiro. They're in lane three. Greece are in four. Watch out for Greece. World silver medalists in this event really quick in the opening stages. And Germany in five. World champions in lane number six, France. But early race leaders, Germany, really pushing out hard. In the stern pair of the German crew, two world champions from the eight from 2010. So bags of experience, and they really are coming into this competition, riding high on good confidence. After all, this is home water. But the British crew in lane number three now starting to find their rhythm. Germany's uh, new coach, Buschbacher, has been uh, really influential since, uh, since the Olympics when Germany did so very, very badly uh, right across the board. And he's transformed the men's rowing in Germany. And he's moving his uh, athletes around. He's got a very, very powerful eight. Uh, so he's bringing new athletes in from the under-23 group. And this is a very strong German four. So the German crew now into the second 500, really starting to stretch out rhythm now it's all about great britain really thinking about laying down the rhythm stretching it out having the confidence to step on a new year a new chapter in the story of this crew langridge eggington james and gregory tom james having come back into the boat olympic champion in the men's heavyweight coxes for it in beijing two years out of the boat really back in the middle into the into the melting pot of of this crew and look at them go now the british starting to move hard they made a big move there and it was a very effective move they're looking very calm and they made a move germany had moved up to about a third of a length in front and then great britain responded really effectively in this uh, second 500 and they've taken nearly three quarters of a length just in a minute great britain have got a new coach this year John West moves from coaching the men's eight to looking after the men's four. And so, yeah, again, it's all about tweaking around the edges, trying to find that combination. And it's not just about the combination in the boat, it's the coaches, the personalities, getting the right people together because time is ticking out on the road to 2012. The British crew now stretching out, looking there. Langridge just to the right, he's moved back. He stroked his crew last year. He's at bow. Langridge from Leander Club. Eggington from Leander Club, Tom James from Molesey Boat Club, Alex Gregory from Reading University Boat Club, Great Britain through the halfway mark. They've stretched out to a length. The early push came from Germany in lane number five, but Greece in lane four now starting to take on and come through the Germans 
in lane five, but out front, it's all immaterial right now. The British crew are just doing their race plan, doing what they do best, get into a rhythm and just put down the power. It's very, very well together. It's, a, it's like in an orchestra, we have a very tight orchestra, a tight group. It's very, very well uh, disciplined, very well contained. And Tom James brings a lovely flow and length to the boat, uh, sitting there in the three seat. He was injured last year, but he's come right the way through. Uh, he was second in the pairs trials last month um, in, uh, for, for, at the British pairs trials. And uh, he's just shown tremendous, tremendous ability sitting in the free seat of this four. Great Britain were world champions two years ago in this event. And you'll recall the team and the country has such an illustrious past and history in the event. And it all went horribly wrong in Carapiro last year. The crew came fourth, disappointed. Talk of conditions changing for their race and the wind coming up becoming unfair. Well, all that's now consigned to history as Great Britain have just stepped up again. A few tweaks around the edges, changing of stroke, language back to the bow stream. Alex Gregory comes up and Tom James is coming into the mix now. Great Britain, 500 metres to go. It's been a fantastic first 1500. All going the right way here. And a new coach of John West on board. And it all it seems now is a great confidence booster for a team that have come out from a very good winter training. Now, by their own admission, uh, admission Dan, Rick Eggington was, you know, it took a while to get over the, the World Championship fourth place last year. Yeah, they were very, very disappointed. And he was just really even thinking about uh, uh, giving up. That would have been crazy because he's one of the top rowers in Great Britain. But he's sitting there now in that uh, seat, rejuvenated, and this will really re-motivate him and inspire him. Greece have come through very beautifully there. They pushed well through Germany, and they've moved up into the uh, into the second position. They were the fastest qualifiers, but they uh, they they've uh, they've slipped back quite a bit. They've changed their boat, changed their stern pair, but they're looking strong in second now. And coming through there on the other side, there's Belarus beginning to move up as well. Now, importantly, remember France are in lane number six, and France are the world champions from Carapiro last year. So scouts all round here. Such a big race for this British crew here. But they're taking it one stroke at a time. They're still up high, racing on hard, looking down at the chasing crews. Greece now to their left, Belarus on their right in lane number two. But up to the line, it'll be a gold medal back on top of the medal podium for the team from Great Britain, the men's heavyweight Coxes for gold to Great Britain. Greece get the silver, and it'll be tight now for, we'll have to wait for the confirmation of the bronze between Belarus and Germany. Photo fish finish there for both of those, but unmistakably, Great Britain are back top where they belong. Impressive performance from Great Britain. They really did do the job very well. Good stroking there from there, the new stroke man from last year. Uh, he's done very, very well putting himself in there, Alex Gregory, and Tom James has fitted in extremely.